Hi, Seth Shostak, Senior Astronomer here at the SETI Institute with another tale that will prove to be enervating and of little use in your uh, gusto-grabbing life. But I'm talking today about 2i Borishov. Now, this is a comet, no doubt about it. It's got a tail. It looks like a comet. And it just rounded the sun. In other words, it came as close as it's going to get to our sun, and it's headed back into space. Now, how close was it to the sun? Well, it wasn't quite as close as Mars gets to the sun, so it was, you know, it never, it never got very close to Earth. But the deal about this comet, of course, is that it's not from our solar system. It's from somebody else's solar system, okay? Now, we don't know whose, and it's probably been, been in space for 100 million years, wandering around, kicked out of somebody else's solar system, makes it into ours. Now, why is this interesting? Well, we don't often get care packages, if you will, from the rest of the cosmos, not big ones. And this thing's about a mile in size, right? Okay, so it would fit in a maybe a mall parking lot or something like that. It's a big ball of ice, but it looks like the comets we know and love from our own solar system. And that's kind of interesting because that tells you, you know, comets are comets. And the fact that you're in somebody else's solar system doesn't mean that the comets there have radically different personalities. There's one more interesting thing here. About a year or two ago, you may have heard about Oumuamua, which was another object that had come from somebody else's solar system, right? And the question was, well, is it a comet? Is it not a comet? Is it an interstellar spacecraft, you know, filled with aliens who've come to take a look at our solar system? Well, that was a possibility because it didn't have any obvious tail. 2i Borshoff, it does have an obvious tail. And probably Oumuamua was also a comet because now we've seen two of these things. When you see two of anything in astronomy, anyhow, you know there are gazillions of them. And what this suggests is that, in fact, space is probably filled with comets that have been kicked out of solar systems. And, and most of them are, you know, the size of a house or a car or an apartment or something like that. And you don't see them very easily. But we're developing better telescopes that will indeed reveal more and more of these things in the future. Are they interstellar spacecraft? Well, probably not but at least they're samples from somebody else's neighborhood.